The single is out today. Mm. It's called Mama. Yeah. All about getting revenge on the exes. Yeah, fun revenge. Fun revenge. Fun revenge, yeah, because it's like one of those classic cases of like, you know when you date somebody for a long time and you get to know their family really well and you care about them, but then like when you break up because they've cheated or something bad happens, they never quite, you don't know whether they know what happened. The real story. So Mama yeah. is just basically a fun way of like sort of turning it around and making sure that your story gets told as well. Uh -huh, good, um, good. The good. video was really fun to shoot as well. Was it? Yeah. yeah. And, it, and I guess a solo single again. Yeah. Feels good to yeah. be kind of back in the midst of it all, does it? Yeah. It's quite nerve wracking. It's been a long time, but I feel like I've taken time out deliberately for that reason. Um, and we come back with more ammo than ever. The airheads, as the fans are known, yeah. um, will obviously want an album and indeed a tour at some point. Yep. Is it on the agenda? Yeah, of course it is. I think that's the whole reason that I write music in the first place. First of all, touring is my favourite thing about this job. Like, I love performing live. I love seeing so many people in front of me singing lyrics that I've written in the studio. So it is... It it's never get tiring. No, it doesn't, actually. And like, especially when you see a lot of the fans afterwards and they give you their feedback and, you know, how excited they are and how much it means to them, it really does make it worthwhile. It's really rewarding, I think. Yeah, so. of course it is. And I know the past couple of years has almost been a bit of a time of reflection. Yeah. You lost your dad, sadly, mm. which was a, obviously a huge shock to all mm. of you. But you then went back to your Jamaican roots mm. through your dad and spent a bit of time there. Yeah. And kind of just thought, OK, do you know what? There's something to learn from this. Yeah, I must admit, going back to Jamaica was like a real spiritual experience in, in terms of just like it felt like he was around. Mm. Um, and the music that we got back was insane. And the people that were there were amazing. I couldn't have taken a better team. There's people. nothing beats going back to where you're from, where your roots are from. Yeah. It's a powerful thing for anybody, I think. But but if you're if you're an artist and you're trying to yeah, in some I, way engage with that. It's, to it's, totally. It's to and where, where we were um, was just in the middle of this sort of Jamaican jungle type thing on top of a cliff, on the side of a cliff. So the views were beautiful. Every morning we were just like, oh my gosh, we're in heaven. Yeah. Um, and Jamaica is very much like that. Anybody's mm. been as, as far that way. But it just worked for you. But of course, you write a lot of, of music for other artists. Yeah. How, how does that work? Do you ever sort of feel secretly that, oh, I should have kept that one? <laughs> yeah, actually, a lot of the times I do. So. Yeah, but I think because we write so much all the time, um, you sort of lose sight of, 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 you know, someone might think something else is great and you'll be like, OK, cool, that's not for me. Like, for instance, changing um, that Paloma Faith sang was number one. That's definitely my biggest regret. In yeah. other news, <laughs> you are a devoted Love Island fan. Yes. Um, and you're delighted that Amber and Greg won, because I saw you yes. on the show actually absolutely backing her and said she's got to win this, regardless of who she was from yeah. with. In fact, totally. it was all about Amber, wasn't yeah. it? Um, and, and they use a lot of your music yeah. in Love Island, don't they? Yeah, it's, it's really good cool actually I think maybe that's the reason why I love watching it so much um, but it just every time it crops up it is quite exciting I get a few texts I love the fact you said you're going to leave the country if Amber and Greg didn't win. this is how passionate I, you were yeah. about it but Amber's story is just so relatable for every young girl out there who's ever been heartbroken so then you know have have the guy come back like I wrote a song about it hmm. you know how they always come back so it, it, it's quite it's so relatable and for her to win was just a real like win for her, it was great. And I know you wanted to discuss hair and yeah. curls, which is a, an issue of my own, Obviously. I have to say. Yeah, she's <laughs> but she's got this hair. magnificent hair, yeah. doesn't she? But you're really quite like, you don't touch the hair. It's a bit of a thing for you, isn't I think, it? I think that's the thing for anybody, like, <laughs> I mean, it's the same if, if, if anyone wants to touch your arm all the time. You'd be like, or your like, pregnant you belly. Know? Right, right? yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I get asked about it all the time, and I don't find it that <gasps> annoying, but after, after, you know, three or four times a day, you're like, <sighs> Yeah, right. but it is magnificent. Oh, That's why, to be fair. Well, look, like we say, Mama, we heard a little bit of it there. It's got you just written all over it. It's brilliant, Ella, and it's out today. It is. And hopefully, like we say, tour, album, all to come oh, yeah, in coming, the not-too-distant future. Great to see you. Thanks Thank you so much, much, Ella. Yes. Thank you.